Welcome to three behaviors that you can embrace to run more effective meetings and workshops. As you know, meetings capture a huge investment of time. Unproductive meetings affect cash flow, morale, and potentially growth of your biggest asset, your people. While as frequently and as importantly as we attend meetings, little, if any, structured training has been provided to help us become better meeting participants and more importantly, better meeting leaders. More effective meetings for you and your teams are dependent on improving three areas of behavior, namely leadership, facilitation, and methodology. Leadership training ensures that we begin with the end in mind. <clears throat> Why are we meeting equates with knowing What does done look like? The best facilitators in the world will fail miserably if they don't know where they're going. Likewise, the worst facilitator can still succeed when the deliverable is clear and it has an impact on the quality of life of the meeting participants. Once you know where you're going, facilitation skills make it easier to know what to do to make your meeting successful. Unfortunately, We've developed poor muscle memory over the years, and some behaviors actually need to be unlearned before new behaviors are embraced. The only way to change such behaviors is really through practice and immersion. Through practice and immersion, you will actually unlearn and relearn properly. Talking heads, which are like the instructor's lips, that won't do it. Only active participation and practice will work at instilling effective and facilitative behavior. Once you know where you're going and what it takes to be more effective, you still need to know how you're going to build consensus, how you're going to get your group of people from the meeting introduction to the wrap. And while the best methodology or approach, which is also called an agenda, has more than one right answer. There is one wrong answer, and that's if you don't know. You better develop a sense before your meeting starts of how you're going to get there. Remember, these Three clear and critical behaviors are required to build consensus, leadership, facilitation, and methodology. Brace all three when you lead a group of people. And then do the following. Articulate your meeting purpose, scope, and deliverables. Put them in writing. If you can't effectively describe where you're going, you are not ready to lead. Take what you know the content you have, and put it in the form of questions. Explore, discover, and stop using the first person singular, especially the word I. If you already have the answer, as in, I think, I believe, I want, then don't host a meeting. Meetings are an awful form of persuasion. Finally, make sure you understand how you're going to get there. Provide an agenda. The agenda is a roadmap, and even if you deviate, at least you have details that will help us get from the introduction to the wrap, generating the deliverables that you need to call your meeting successful. If you start embracing all three of these behaviors in every meeting you lead, you will be exponentially more successful. We guarantee it. We are MG Rush, facilitation, training, and coaching, the world's champion of structured meeting approaches to build consensus around complex topics and challenges. Look at our Fast Weekly for hundreds of supporting tools and tips, and to see some of them in action, continue with the next video. Our Fast Technique is actively practiced in multinational enterprises, companies, and organizations across industry and government. Please let us know if we can help you by clicking on the link found in the description of this log, and thank you for watching.